Let's draw the Lewis structure for FES, that's iron to sulfide. Here we have iron, which is definitely a metal, bonding with sulfur, which is a non-metal. I know that because it's in the upper right-hand corner of the periodic table. When you have a metal and a non-metal reacting together, you'll end up with an ionic compound, which means there will be a transfer of electrons from one to the other, from the metal to the non-metal specifically. Now to watch this happen, first you'll need to figure out what the valence of Fe is. Now for things in the first or second column, you know that they have either one or two valence electrons. But for the transition metals, it's tougher to tell. In fact, iron can have a valence of plus two or plus three. What you're going to do is take whatever valence your chemical is, in this case it's iron 2 sulfide, and you're going to simply give it that many valence electrons. There's my Fe, and there's the two valence electrons that it's going to eventually give away. Now sulfur, on the other hand, is a non-metal. It comes from group 16, which means it brings six valence electrons. Here's sulfur, one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And it, as a non-metal, wants to have a full outer shell of eight electrons. Where is it going to get the other two? Well, a metal will give away its electrons. In this case, it gives one electron away to pair up with that one, and its other electron away to pair up with that one. Now, these structures can get more complicated when you don't have a matching number being given away uh, as, as being accepted by the other atom. But FES, you only need one of each atom to create that structure. So the final Lewis structure actually shows the Fe with no valence electrons around it. And because it lost two electrons, it has a 2 plus or plus 2 charge. And the sulfur, you're going to have to show with all eight electrons around it. That's six that it brought plus two that it stole from iron with a charge of minus two or two minus. Now all the charges add up to zero because the compound as a whole has a total charge of zero. And the square brackets here represent the fact that each of these particles is an ion. This is the complete Lewis structure for iron two sulfide. Congratulations, you did it. Best of luck.